Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here, out here around the northeast end of Georgia. About 2.30 or so in the morning. Wednesday morning. My time has come to an end with these little uh, miniature stud mount MRF 454 projects. Okay. I've already made uh, two videos, one for each of these. The uh, last one I did of this, I didn't have a video of the complete with everything put together. I did a, a performance test video uh, with the trimmer still in and the uh, top not on as it is on now, or the bottom. I also wanted to show you uh, where these two projects came from. Well, here's how they looked before I started on them. Hundred and sixty six dot four three five megahertz. Some commercial amplifiers real close to the two meter band. A little bit above it. Commercial band. So these were commercial amplifiers. Yeah, probably somebody like uh school bus drivers. Somebody like that could have been using. I got these uh, from a good buddy of mine, Mr. Georgia Redneck, 747. As you see on the front, there's no on and off switch, no LED or nothing. <laughs> so uh, once you hook these things, they're either on or you have to unhook the power and they're off. I am smoking, by the way. Y'all know what the deal is, man, when you're watching my video. By the time I get over here at the bench, man, it's time for a smoke. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, Tang, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, I thought everything came out really neat. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side. Just in case you haven't watched the other video, these are the units that came out of the cases, out of the boxes right here. Um, little one driving one setups, Class C. Real simple little class C amplifiers, a little one driving one, a lot of tuning in these things, man. So that's what came out of the cases. And then I put a little something in the cases, as you can see. This is a class C stud mount, brand new MRF 454s, 455, excuse me, sorry about that, 455s. And on this one, I decided to do a little something different. And this is an AB biased. AB biased, linear. Stud mount, brand new MRF 455s. Um, I didn't even really think about putting a fan on this one. Um, an AB biased amp is going to pull a little bit more current. And... Uh, I looked up and seen that fan sitting up there. I was like, you know what? Let me try to put that fan on there. This one's already sold. I didn't take pictures with the fan on it, so I'm just going to leave the fan off. It's, it's a good heat sink. It's good out in the air. I think it should be fine. If the fellow wants to add a fan to it, you know, he's really easily do it with just some screws like this here. And as you can see, when I show you here, this is pulling about maybe six to seven more amps than this one is, because this is AB. Alrighty. 
All we need to do with this now is label the uh, back, the antenna, which is actually opposite of what you see here. Antenna is actually input, and input's output. Now on this one, I did it. I, I, I lined it up on this one. On this one, the end is on the left. So I'm going to mark those ins and outs off and uh, mark them correctly and get that out tomorrow. All right. Now on to this. Uh, as you can see, you know, I'm sitting here trying to have fun. You know, it's a hobby to me. And I want to try this one with a black finish. I really like the way it came out. I really wasn't thinking about when I did a black finish like that that these probably wouldn't show up. So, don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might not be able to put a little logo on it, which I kind of hate that because, I mean, this thing's built from the ground up. You might as well just call this brand new. I mean, I understand this case. It's a used case, but I mean, it's sanded down. Oh, there, bug. It's been sanded down, painted. I mean, I'd call that brand new. But, you know, I'm still going to let the person know, yes, this case is used. But it's been cleaned very, very well. Sanded down, repainted, all that good stuff. As I said, the way the box is designed, that's why I don't have a high-low switch or a, a variable on it. So let's go ahead and uh, shave the output of it after everything's together. Um, this thing, I've already made a video showing this already, so you know we're putting 20 watts in it from the radio. Okay, automatic SSB. Let me show you a dead key. We're on a. Uh, 14 volts. I got the light on. You can't hardly see it, but I'm on 14, 14 volts. Should have about a 30 watt deck here, so 33 watt deck key. Do te 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 no Reflect. No dear. No dear. Beautiful. No dear. No dear. No dear. No dear. No dear. No dear. No Real quick. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Ta, 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 ta. All right, 288 watts. There you go.